Alright, hey guys, what's going on? This is Space here, and welcome back to another Spacing Out Vlogs. I know it's been a while, been uh, like three months or so, but yeah, we're back with another movie night. Oh yeah, I hope you guys are ready. It's gonna be pretty exciting. I'm gonna teach you how to make uh, some awesome uh, floats, thingy-mabob, and uh, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and kick it off. Alright, so first off, I want to start off with an updated version of the collection. I've gotten a few more movies since uh, the last time we did this. So uh, yeah, don't take this as me bragging once again. It's just me uh, showing you guys these and giving my opinions on them. Uh, some of them I haven't seen, but most of these I have seen. Actually, turn on the light real quick. There we go. Uh, maybe that's better. Yeah, I guess that's a little better. Okay, uh, let's see. I think most of these, or actually all of these, are, are ones that you guys have not seen from my collection yet. So alright, there's a few down here as well. So alright, I'm gonna start right here. Alright, with... Uh, Right here. All right. So we have No Country for Old Men, which is a Coen Brothers film. You can see right there. Yep. And uh, pretty awesome. Uh, I've only seen it once, but it's really good. And all right. We have uh, Frost Nixon, another amazing film. It's uh, directed by Ron Howard. Very nice. Uh, I'm gonna go through some of these quick. Some of them I might have more to say, but anyways. Okay. We have The General, which is by Buster Keaton. It's a hilarious movie. It's a uh, silent film from I believe. Uh, 26 or something like that. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty early movie, pretty hilarious, and uh, yeah. Donnie Brasco, I've almost gotten this like four times, like every time I go to a second in Charles, I always like, alright, maybe this time I'll get it, but then I finally did, so yeah. Uh, alright, Casablanca, I had that last time, but I finally watched it, and man is it amazing. It was almost my movie recommendation, and then I realized, you know, everyone has heard of Casablanca at least, so yeah, anyways. Uh, we have Halloween right here, which I watched this past week, and uh, pretty darn entertaining. I'm not a really big fan of horror movies or slasher films, but this one's really good. This one is kind of the uh, grandfather of all of the uh, 80s uh, slasher films, like uh, Friday the 13th, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of tropes from uh, this are, uh, are established, or a lot of tropes are established in this. And uh, if I could talk. And surprisingly, there are no jump scares, which I was like really surprised. Like, wow, no jump scares. Interesting. And uh, yeah, Michael Myers just kind of walks on. He doesn't like jump out or anything, you know? Just, uh, yeah. Pretty good. I'm probably not going to see the rest of them. Maybe I'll see the new one. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to decide if I should or not. Anyways, yeah. Alright, so over here, I actually did have these four last time, but they weren't over here. So we have uh, four Alfred Hitchcock movies, which is Vertigo, Psycho, Rear Window, and The Birds. I haven't seen Rear Window yet, but I'll probably watch it this week. Uh, but I've seen the other two, and there are the other, and the, uh, yeah, the other two, yeah, the other three, and they're amazing. I think Vertigo is my favorite, but Psycho is a close second, and The Birds is pretty awesome as well. Uh, I got these two from a uh, half price bookstore at my cousin's, so that was cool. We went there, and I found these two. We've got uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, and then The Thing from the 50s, which is what uh, this is based off of. I haven't seen those yet, but I will watch them. Of course, I mean, I'm not going to get these just to look at the cases. It's a pretty cool case, but I mean, <laughs> anyways. Uh, Chef, super amazing movie. That was almost a movie recommendation as well. Uh, the Perks of Being a Wallflower, I actually watched both of these the same day. As well as Rainbow Free, or not Rainbow Free, Rainbow 4, which is not on the shelf, but it's... Uh, somewhere <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, they're all very similar. You know, this one's a very emotional movie This is a kind of a comedy slash happy feel-good movie, I guess and yeah And then Rambo is a heavy action movie. So yeah, very similar very similar uh, 21 and 22 Jump Street finally got these on DVD. Thought it was pretty cool uh, Once super amazing film and begin again, which was a movie recommendation uh, Well this month or well, actually last month. I just say it's July now uh, Valkyrie I, I don't think I had this one when we recorded the uh, uh, the collection but uh, I got it shortly after that super amazing movie it's a great history movie it tells the uh, real story of how Hitler was almost defeated uh, by the uh, Germans yeah so it's pretty interesting I won't go into the depth into uh, like what it's about it was almost a movie recommendation as well but anyways yeah just uh, leave it as a surprise for you guys that don't actually know the history behind it uh, we've got Nightcrawler super amazing I don't think that was Maybe I was considering making that a movie recommendation, but uh, anyways, it's super amazing. Got some really nice cinematography as well as like such an interesting character, uh, Wu, uh, the main character, played by Mr. Jake right there. Uh, super amazing. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Honestly, probably be my favorite uh, movie or uh, video game movie. It's pretty funny, and it's got some pretty awesome fight scenes as well. Amadeus. Finally watched that. It's so good, guys. It's really good. You should watch it. Uh, also watched The Mentry and Kennedy, I had that last time. I think I had Dead Poets Society too, uh, I don't know. But, um, 
Yeah, Manchurian Candidate is also amazing too. It's the first political thriller, uh, first movie uh, political thriller, that is. So that's super awesome. It's really good too. I haven't seen the uh, remake with Denzel, I think, yeah, Denzel Washington is in it. I haven't seen that, but I don't know if I will. I've heard that it's not based off of the movie, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Dead Poet Society, amazing. Uh, my friend recommended it to me back in like uh, 11th grade, so it's been a little bit, but yeah, finally got a chance to watch it and it's great. You can kind of see my, uh, <laughs> right there, look at that, that's me, hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, we have uh, The Terminal, an underrated Steven Spielberg film, it's hilarious, and uh, also uh, dramatic as well and awesome. I say dramatic and hilarious a lot, don't I? Uh, <laughs> speaking of dramatic, we've got uh, Blood Diamond, which has, um, let me uh, show it with, uh, has Leonardo DiCaprio, if I could talk today. Jeez, has Le okay, there we, there we go, okay. Has Leonardo DiCaprio on it, it's amazing. Uh, it's not my favorite Leonardo DiCaprio movie, but it is definitely a great movie. And yeah, there's even more movies over here. How much money do I spend a month on videos? I have no idea, I honestly don't want to know. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, Dumb and Dumber and The Mask. I found this in a uh, Walmart bargain bin. That was super awesome, great find. Uh, I've seen The Mask, so I haven't seen this yet, but I'm probably gonna watch it tonight. I've got the Jersey Boys, uh, got this uh, for like $5 too. Oh, uh, well, this wasn't $5, it was like 7 but uh, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, we have Metropolis, a very old movie, I think it's from uh, two, uh, 2006, yes, a very old movie from 2006, uh, 1926. So it's pretty old, but it's uh, a landmark in uh, sci-fi movies, and uh, looks awesome. We've got Be Kind Rewind, which actually I shot, uh, yeah, I shot, yes, I saw a trailer for on uh, our copy of... Uh, Rush Hour Free, and I was like, you know, what is this? And I was like, I watched this, like, you know what, this looks hilarious, so I'll get it. And I found it. So, uh, School of Rock, another Jack Black film. I don't think I've seen this one, actually, surprisingly. But I will definitely watch it very soon. Maybe even tonight. Uh, the ones that I want to watch tonight are this, 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 and hopefully uh, Revolutionary Road. That's four movies, I don't know if I can make it, but we'll see. Uh, I still have this up here because I haven't watched uh, 2001, but I'll watch that really soon. I know, I haven't seen it. I've seen parts of it, not all of it though. Uh, Revolutionary Road. Uh, the main reason that I got this was because it has Leonardo DiCaprio in it. So I want to see all of his movies, but it also sounds like an interesting movie too. It's a romance, but hey, that's alright. Uh, Way Miz, or Way Miz Ravel. Uh, my good friend Charlie really liked this, as well as the uh, play. I think he saw it live, which is really awesome. And, uh, you know, I was like, you know what, I am gonna give it a shot. I like musicals, so. And we still have Lawrence of Arabia. I still haven't watched this yet because it's really long, but I will watch it, uh, maybe this week. I said that last week, so probably not, but I'll watch it eventually. I'm really excited, though. Yeah. Yes. Also, we have this up here. This isn't mine, but I just wanted to showcase this. Super awesome. It is uh, six Alfred Hitchcock movies. My mom and I have been watching uh, Alfred Hitchcock movies, and it's super awesome. He's a great director, uh, even though he wasn't the best to his actors, but he still uh, made some amazing movies. And there we go. Too many movies, right? Yes. Is there such a thing, though? I don't think there is. And I do like to study movies as well, like figure out like how uh, they did shot compositions and stuff like that, as well as like story stuff and whatnot. So yeah, they're also, they're not just for entertainment for me, they're also to uh, study and learn from them, but also of course still for entertainment. E entertainment, yes, I can talk today, I can't talk today. So, huh. Speaking of movies, oh look at that glare, so nice, so, so nice. So I've got, uh, I really like writing, uh, if you guys, you guys may or may not know that. And uh, here's just like a list of uh, some of the uh, things that I'm making, there's like 30 or 40 something in this, so I might talk about some of them real quick, just for the wolves, and then I want to talk about something else, and then we'll kick it off. I think we might go to Walmart real quick, just for the wolves. Uh, I kind of don't want to, but at the same time, you know what, I think it'll make the video even more fun, so, you know, why not? We'll do it. Okay, uh, so the thing that I'm writing right now is uh, The Road to Fun World, which I'm like 26 pages in, which isn't really that much, to be honest, but... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm in right now. Sneak preview, hoo hoo, -hoo yeah. You can always pause it and figure out the dialogue. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, alright, what am I doing? I have no idea. Basically, the guy, uh, he's in a rut. His name is Jake, the main character, he's in a rut. And he wants to go somewhere fun. Or he wants to, or he just, uh, well, he sees... <laughs> Look at all this stamming right here. Well, he sees this commercial while he's at his house. And he's like, hey, it's a commercial for fun. Well, he's like, hey, I gotta go there. He's like, the commercial's like, are you, are you stuck in a rut or whatever? And, like, blah, 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 you know. Uh, yeah, I'm really good at explaining stuff, aren't I? Uh, what else is uh, something interesting? Uh, Quiet on the Set, which is a movie script. It's, uh, yeah, don't steal this idea, because I really like this idea. And if you do, I will find you, and I will uh, take it back. You know, I'm not going to kill you. Why would I kill you? That's messed up. Anyways, <laughs> so, 
I'm just going to read it. A murderer is on the loose and they're taking Hollywood by storm. The murderer manages to get onto the set of a film and starts killing casts. Or the cast. The remaining cast will be able, or will the remaining cast be able to stop them before it's too late? So yeah, it's like, uh, they're making a movie, so it's kind of meta a little bit, so. Oh, it's just a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you know, I think that's pretty much all that's really worth talking about. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Death's Painter, where is that? Is that on me? Uh, no. Wait, how is that not in here? I'm gonna forget it, aren't I? That's good. Uh, I had an idea, uh, it's called Death's Painter. Yeah, actually, I thought it was on here. Yeah. Anyways, uh, it's about this guy. Uh, it's based off of a Robert Browning's poem. Uh, I forget what the poem's called. Um, Dutch, something Duchess, I forget. Uh, my last Duchess, I think. Uh, but anyways, it's based off of that, where there's a painter that, uh, the king- Oh, here it is, I'm stupid, too, so here it is. Uh, it's about a painter who asks, who is asked by a king to paint a picture of his wife, and he keeps on doing it for the same king, but with different wives. Eventually he discovers that the wife he's painting ends up getting murdered by the king soon after. Uh, the king finds out that- oh yeah, okay, that's a spoiler for the end. Alright, anyways, yeah, so that'll be fun, it'll be a play, and if I had to, like, put on a play, any of these ideas uh, as my debut to like try to get uh, just money to make more of this stuff it would definitely be that because I feel like that might be my best idea I don't know it's it's an alright idea but I feel like it would be maybe the most successful idea I don't know anyway it's probably the deepest idea on here most of these are just kind of stupid like look at this sunglasses at night a movie based on the song yeah genius song anyways so yeah now I'm gonna go over here look at this little uh, floor tour right here you get a Nice look at my floor over here. It's very nice. It's carpet. Uh, great carpet. I've had uh, this carpet all my life, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so one more thing before we start the movie night. Uh, well, kind of start the movie night. We're going to go to Walmart and then start uh, the movie night. Uh, I'm coming up with a, another short film. Actually, three short films. They're going to be like making them. Uh, I don't know what this is, honestly. It's rolling because... You know, I, don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> all right. Uh, three short films. One of them is a romance film. Uh, it's gonna be like romance through the ages. Uh, it's gonna start off in 1920 with like a Charlie Chaplin-esque uh, little sequence and then like continue on and stuff and yada yada. It's gonna stop in like the thousands or whatever. I don't know. I don't know when it will stop. I haven't decided yet, but probably in the thousands. Uh, but, and then also I want to make another horror short film since those are actually really easy to make. Um, yeah, but this one is the one that uh, will actually be the hardest to make, I think, maybe, because it actually requires me to use stuff that I do not have, that I have to uh, save money for and stuff, so uh, it'll be fun though. So I call it Goose. Uh, here's the uh, opening shot, and then you'll see like Goose right there or whatever. Um, basically, the basic premise of it is that uh, this uh, mafia, uh, there's a mafia meeting with all of the lieutenants and like the main man comes in and he's like, we have rats, and he like throws uh, down like a, some, some evidence or whatever that is a rat. Um, and he's like, you know, we'll play a round of Duck Duck Goose to uh, figure out who it is. So that's where the name Goose comes from. And yeah, it's really silly, but also it's, at the same time, I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, what I need to accomplish this is I need like, I don't know, like seven people, seven actors. And this one will actually have audio, like actual dialogue instead of the other ones, which don't, which are silent films, technically. Um, yeah, so I'll also need lighting, I'll need a place to film, which I'm thinking of doing it in a garage. Uh, my garage is not very clean, so I'll have to get someone to like, hey, can I like borrow your garage for like two days or so? Um, yeah, I'll need lighting, uh, I need a table, which table probably not that expensive. Uh, I'll need like chairs and stuff, so yeah. And costumes as well, so yeah, it'll be fun though. Uh, I don't know when I'll make it, probably not this year, maybe next year, I don't know. I'll probably start try to throw it together. I need to write a script. Uh, I might storyboard as well. I already started a little bit. And I was like, you know, I could just improvise this or like write it out and I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, the horror movie, I might just like improvise that. I've got like some locations in mind that I want to do it in. So, and the romance one as well. I, I have locations in Chicago as well as here where I live because I don't live in Chicago. But uh, there's some cool locations in Chicago that I could film in. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, and over here, get rid of this, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah. Alright, I got this card, I was like, you know what, this might come in handy eventually. 
uh, for when I make this short film. So, yeah, anyways, I've talked about this way too long. Anyways, let's begin movie night with uh, going to Walmart real quick for no reason at all and uh, coming back. Yeah, because why the heck not? Hopefully it's not crowded because it's like, what, like three? Where, where, where's that? Oh, there's, it's like three... 320 right now. Yeah, no, it's 320. Uh, so I don't know who shops 320 on Saturday at Walmart, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so now I gotta go get my stuff and uh, get a nice tour of the floor once again. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Gotta get the duct tape so I can tape you guys down. Don't worry, it won't hurt though. I don't think, at least I've never been duct taped down. Duct taped down. I see, I can't talk. I should end this episode, uh, can't talk tonight, but I'll try anyways. Just make it a silent film. Just like mute all the audio, like, hey. You know, you really can't talk tonight because it's all muted. Ha ha, hilarious, isn't it? Anyways, uh, yeah. Getting the big boys out. I also need my wallet and my keys. Ah, look at that. So I got that Spider-Man keychain, but look, at, look how worn down it is from like the last time. That was like, like last year. <laughs> You've seen better days, I'd say. Also, I'd like to apologize to Energetic Lego Films for leaving him in the middle of a conversation just to record this silly video. Sorry about that, dude, but uh, I'll be back in a second to talk. Dudes, welcome to Walmart. Alright, dudes, and we're back. Alright, so it's pretty successful. There are actually a lot of people there, surprisingly. I was like, oh, I guess people will be there shopping on uh, Saturdays in the afternoon. Good to know. Anyways, alright, so I got a few things from uh, Walmart. We'll do an unboxing video here. Whoa! <laughs> alright. Uh, it's gotten super worried now. There you go. <laughs> All right. So first thing I got was the uh, Adam West Batman movie. I haven't seen this in a while, so maybe I'll watch this tonight. I don't know. Special edition too. Whoa! <laughs> and uh, that was only five dollars. It's like, dude, that's a bargain. And they're also having these on sale, which I thought was pretty awesome. So I got uh, Jurassic Park. Pretty awesome uh, cover. Uh, same cover on the uh, inside as on the outside. That's cool. But yeah, super awesome. Huh? And then of course, no movie night is complete without donuts. Actually, these are for tomorrow morning. But, uh, yeah. Donuts. Gotta give them a little taste test first. One-handed, watch this. I'm the master. Uh, oh. Nope. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, I was gonna probably mess up the camera. Alright, make sure I don't touch the camera with my left hand. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> now time for the movie. Movie number one, here we come. What should we watch? You know what? Let's see. That'll do. Alright, this should work. There we go. Oh, wait a second, this isn't Harvey. Ah, oh well, close enough. Alright dudes, I'm watching Be Kind Rewind, so far it's hilarious, and uh, I'm just going to pause it right here, get some dinner, so alright. Now time for another episode of Cooking with Chef Space, oh yeah, everyone's favorite, huh? Alright, here we go. 
First stuff, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a really good salad. Oh, look at those legs right there. Very nice. I don't have any socks on, so yeah. Uh, uh, don't make it weird. Anyways, okay. Here we go. Watch this. Okay, gonna, we're going to make a salad together, right? All right, you ready? All right, it's pretty complicated, I know, but there. It's done. Pretty easy, huh? Yeah? Uh, I told you guys it was easy. Look at that. Kicking barbecue style. Yeehaw. Next up, we're going to be making a float. Not just any float, the best god dang float you ever have. And not sponsored by Coca-Cola, but hey, it's a cool glass. Alright, so first off, we're going to get our ingredients. Yeah, that's right, we got a supernatural calendar up here. You got a problem with that, boy? <laughs> Anyways, alright. Uh, we always need soy sauce in there, but uh, uh, we'll save that to the end, obviously. Uh, here you go, first ingredients. Uh, not sponsored by 7up, but I actually am. <clears throat> Anyways, alright. There you go. Uh, you'd also use like uh, ginger ale or Sprite or Sierra Mist, whatever. So, or this stuff, uh, original Green River soda. It's green. So, all right. Now we're gonna go out to the uh, garage. Look at this cool lighting over here. Pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay. Cool lime sherbet. That's right, dudes. You can put in some french fries in there if you want, but uh, we'll, we'll do that later. Oh, I should probably make sure the freezer actually is closed. Haha. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> All you have to do is just slam your body against the freezer, make sure it's closed, and bada bing, bada boom, it is. All right, this is kind of hard holding this one-handed, but uh, just imagine this is a Skyrim mod. A very boring, there you go. <laughs> a very boring Skyrim mod. There you go. Cool lime. Cup. 7 up. Always make sure you slam everything on the counter and break the counter, obviously. Scooper. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Delicious. There we go. That about does it. Now it's time to return this into the uh, freezer so you don't have to do that later. I'm just gonna run over there. Trip. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Okay, so how's your day going guys? Uh, happy 4th of July by the way. I just realized that this will be uploaded on 4th of July, even though today for me is Saturday. So, yeah, alright. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the videos thus far. We had the, uh, uh, what you call the minigame video, as well as the uh, Space Survival video, which was pretty fun. So, next time we'll be finishing up the, uh, the beach, I believe. So, alright, anyways. Alright, so we've got this. Now we're ready to go. We'll drink it. Pretty good, but actually I need one more ingredient. The donuts, orange. Oh, Here we go. Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, set this down real quick. There you go. It's open. All right. Let's see if I can get this. And there. All right. Now carefully pour it in. Don't make sure it doesn't like explode everywhere and kill everyone. So that'd be bad, I guess. All right. That about does it. Maybe you just scrape off some of the bubbles. That was a complete failure. Pretend I didn't do that. Uh, take two. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, here. Some of the bubbles down. Pour a little bit more in there. That should do it. You can see the uh, ice cream right there. Well, sugar, whatever. Now time for the taste test. Delicious. Oh, and there's some more rabbits outside. Very cool, very cool. There's one right there, too. Ah, so cute. There we go. Salad. Very nice, very nice. Now to get the piece of resistance. The napkin. Well, actually, the two pieces of resistance. Ah, we're out of napkins. Great. Good thing there's a stack right here. Hey, hoo hoo, wow. Hmm. Alright, there we go. Water on. Cool, very cool. And of course, no dinner is complete without that falling on the ground. Uh, wheat fins, uh, sponsored by wheat fins. Uh, okay. <clears throat> anyway, all right, here we go. Now, back to the movie. All right, guys, just finished watching this, and that was hilarious. And I uh, had a heartwarming ending. And yeah, look at this cover, man. It's so awesome. Anyways, yeah, that was Be Kind Rewind. Definitely recommend it. It's hilarious. All right, next up, School of Rock. Yeah, buddy. All right, gonna pause for a second. So far, it's awesome. 
All right, so here we go. You know what time it is, boys? Everybody's favorite time. Time to turn on the lights. That's right. Woo! No, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, ah, no, that's not it. <laughs> Hold on a I know it's around here somewhere. Aha, uh -huh. turns out I was in the garage, of course. Yes, it's time for some popcorn. It's been a while since I've had some popcorn, so I was like, all right, you know what? It's movie night, so may as well. All right, dudes. I'm gonna show you the secret to making the best popcorn ever. All right, here we go. First, I gotta go turn off the light real quick, all right. So, first off, obviously you gotta open up the thing. So, in the unboxing video, everyone loves uh, popcorn unboxing, so I'll be doing some more of that on my channel in the future, so. All right, carefully open, turn, bowl, four minutes, two seconds, pick up here, this side up, okay. All right, cool, we're good. All right, so here's the secret here, all right. Cool. Careful, watch very carefully, so. Put it in like that, that's all buttery, nice. Now, you know how it said four minutes, right? Watch. That's the secret right there. Right at 2 minutes and 48 seconds, we're getting some slight poppage, so that's pretty good. You can see it's rising a little bit there, so pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeehaw. There it is, lads. Lotto Superior indeed, my friend. Alright, you crazy kids. Let's go ahead and get this popcorn up. Hopefully it doesn't disintegrate my hands, but it'll be alright because it is popcorn, so I mean, it's worth it. So, gotta get a bowl, of course. What do you think I am? Some kind of animal that eats out of bags? I'm just gonna eat out of the bag, perfectly normal. But, this time I don't want to burn my hands, so we're gonna go for it. Pretty good bowl. Uh, sponsor bear. Okay. Okay. Gotta put these bowls back. It's a bunch of bowls, isn't it? Ha ha ha. Funny. Very funny. Boom. Alright. One handed popcorn open. Uh, this is not gonna work out too well, is it? No. No, it will not. I'll set this down here. Hopefully, the popcorn won't kill everyone. So. Moment of truth. Yeah, buddy. Now, here we go. Open carefully. Yes, thank you, I did. Right on top of the door. Should have opened it a little bigger, but that's already need to work out my arm anyways. Ah, there we go. Booyah. Empty. What was that one right there? But you know what I said to you, one kernel boy? Get out of here. There we go, let's continue the movie. Alright, just finished School of Rock. That was amazing, absolutely loves it. And you know what? It's uh... 8, 19, but you know what time it really is? Time for another movie. Next up, Revolutionary Road. Alright, lads, here we go. Yo, dudes, before we start the movie, here. Take a step outside, just listen and look. It's very beautiful outside. Beautiful, isn't it?
don't know if you guys can see it. You can kind of barely see it, but there's a rubber right there. Yeah. It's getting really worried, but yeah, here we go. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, so just finished Revolutionary War. <laughs> All right, just finished Revolutionary Road. Quite a tragic story, but still really good as well. Uh, definitely not something you want to watch with your significant other, but yeah, it's good. All right, and now time for a more lighthearted movie, Dumb and Dumber. Here we go. As you can probably tell from my voice, I'm starting to get tired, but I'm going to push through and make it so I can see this, and then I'll go to bed. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. Uh, we're about to end it off pretty soon, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys after the movie. Alright, just finished the movie, that was hilarious, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed movie night. We watched four movies, we watched Be Kind, Rewind, School of Rock, uh, Revolutionary Road, and then Dumb and Dumber. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's 12.25, yeah. So happy July, uh, even though it's already July when you're watching this video, but hey, whatever. Bye-bye.